The first type of polymorphism is nothing but your method overloading. What is this method overloading? If you remember in our previous video we have discussed a polymorphism are of two types. One is compile time, the next one is your run time. This compile time which is a static polymorphism supports nothing but method overloading. That is in Java it supports us few concepts to perform these kind of runtime or compile time polymorphisms. The first one that we are talking about is method overloading which is nothing but your compile time polymorphism. Now what is this method overloading? Method overloading is nothing but a feature that allows a class to declare two or more methods with the same name but different parameters. Now what are the rules on these parameters? That is it allows you to write a simple method like for example you have defined or declared a method addition. Can you again define an addition method within the class or not? That is all the polymorphism is about. Yes you can define the same method with the same name that is addition but with different parameters. When I say different parameters, it says that the type of parameter, the sequence of parameter and the list of parameters should be different. The number of arguments that you pass within the parameter of a method should be different. For an example, if you have declared a method called addition, in that addition you have provided two variables integer a and b, right? In the next method, when you are declaring again addition method, you should pass at least three method, three variables or something else. You cannot pass both as addition. Now for an example, another method where you, you are trying to display certain variables or certain values and in that display method, you have one string variable. In the next display method, you cannot only have a string variable. You can have a combination of any other arguments as well. Now what are the certain rules it says we have already learned the concept of inheritance right. So this method overloading can be used with your second class as well that is your subclass as well right. So where you would inherit the methods from your parent class to the child class and the constructor overloading is possible in this case. And how would you call this overloaded methods? It is similar way you would instantiate your object the class and then call these method overloaded but by passing the same number of arguments. For an example if you have created or declared a method called display which has a string variable the next method display has one string variable and one integer variable. Now when you want to call each of these methods you have to call with their own signature that is with the own variable you have to call as object reference dot the method name and then the value to the string. Next again the object reference dot the method name then the string value comma the integer value. If you have declared a method where you have string comma integer while calling you have to pass in the similar signature. You cannot swap, you cannot write integer comma string because this method declaration will be different than what you have called. Next it says that the written type may or may not be the same. Now the display method that you are displaying or you have created it may or may not return any particular type or variable. Next we say here what is it and with the help of an example. But one important note that we have to remember is that when does this method call get bind? That is this kind of a method overloading which is your compile time polymorphism is nothing but your static polymorphism. That is a binding to the method call happens at compile time and not at run time. Right? So we have created an example where we have created a method called addition with different set of parameters and how do you call each of these parameters or how do you call each of these method we will see with the help of an example. So let us execute this program practically. So in this example we will discuss about the overloading concept as discussed in the theory and overloading is a concept which allows us to rewrite the methods again or reuse the method again 
but with different parameters. Here the main rule of overloaded method is that the parameter should be of different type. That is nothing but the arguments that you pass in a parameter should be of different type, should be of different number and in a different sequence. So we have created here a class called overloading in that you have created the instance variable integer type and the name of the variable is C. The first method is your addition method which does not return any value and in this addition method you have provided two local variables A and B and initialize its value with 10 and 20 and then you are printing the sum of value of A and B. In the next method which is again addition method that is this class is allowing you to reuse the addition method but you have to provide certain different parameters that is different argument and now we are providing integer a and b what if i tried writing again a public addition method with no parameters will it allow me no it will throw me an error it says that the duplicate method addition in type overloading that is in overloading it does not allow you to write a method with the number of same parameters or different so what do you do in that case in that case what happens is that you write the method and in that method you have to provide different or different sequence or type or number of parameters or the argument. So what happened here if I have provided any one variable so will it accept yes because this method although has the same name but have different arguments therefore it will be allowed. So now we have declared another method with the same name but different parameters that is with different arguments int a and b and now I want to find the value of plus a and b right and again I have provided another method with the same name but different arguments a b and c if I tried providing a and b it would have thrown me an error by saying duplicate method so I have declared here as int c and not only a duplicate method if you have observed it says the same parameters that is either if i write here as string a then still it will accept because there are different types of parameters but because i have provided the argument same as integer a and integer b it will throw me an error therefore now this will return a plus b plus c value and it is of integer type now in the main method i have instantiated my class and with this object reference i shall call each of these methods so i write the object reference i call the first method second again i use the object reference call the second method addition with the values and finally i call the last method it will return some value and this value return will be of integer type and finally we print this value so this is how you use the concept of overloading where you can repeat the methods with the same name but with different number of arguments or list of arguments type of arguments and the sequence so let us execute this file and now as you see it provides a value of sum of a and b is 30 and then so and so.